What's happening, my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a very random and very sporadic episode of Cosplay Chris. And I'm in LA. I'm in the beautiful city of Angels. And I'm actually here to film part of a movie. And only for one day. And it's the outlaw Johnny Black with Michael Jai White. I don't know if you guys remember last year when I did a video announcing that Michael was going to be, uh, you know, directing, starring and producing this film and was kind of like getting the hype up and did the video, totally forgot about it and his people contacted me and said the film's been funded, it's in pre-production and Michael wants you to have a little part in it as a thank you for, you know, spreading the word and getting the hype out. So here I am in LA, only needed for one day, but I figured bugger it, I'll make a little holiday out of this, catch up with friends and see some sights. But first, a massive thank you to the awesome sponsor of this video, World of Warships. World of Warships is a naval action MMO dipping into the world of large scale sea battles for the first half of the 20th century. Now keep in mind, this is a game for the seasoned gamer and it lets you put your mind to the test to determine the outcome of battle. The game goes through a large update, whether it be battle royale modes, three times speed mode, April Fool's space mode, fun and new game modes are introduced at a consistent pace. So what are you waiting for, geeks and geekettes? Download World of Warships today. So this is day one, arrived yesterday. Jet lag was... Not too bad. Uh, got in a train this morning at Gold's Gym in North Hollywood, and trust me when I say exercise cures jet lag, it really does. Just keep moving, keep out in the sun, do not have a nap. That's the worst thing you can do on day one, like the very first day you get here, is go straight to sleep. You've got to force your body into getting used to the time zone. Weather here is beautiful, as you can see. It is a beautiful day here in La La Land. So this is how much of an Elm Street tragic I am. I'm just going to a location from Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, the sixth Nightmare on Elm Street. And it's literally used for one shot in the film where Breck and Meyer, Leslie Dean and Ricky Dean Logan's characters, uh, Carlos, Tracy and Spencer are driving in the old uh, beat up van and Freddy's sending them in circles. Here's a shot here from the film. It's literally just one shot and I just want to see it. I want to see how it looks today. Um, all the other locations, uh, way way away some are out in like a national park and this is the closest location and again this is how much of an elm street tragic i really am so after this after i get some shots and everything on on my good camera on the ADD, i i'm going to head down to hollywood and i don't know how to properly pronounce it but there's this old record store that i want to check out check out all the old vinyls and everything and plus i just love going up and down hollywood boulevard it's just there's nothing like it. The atmosphere is amazing. This is why I love this town. This is why I want to live and work here one day. I will live and work here one day. So we're just coming up to it now. It's a, it's a crossroad, corner of Woodbridge Street and the hell's the other street sign? Corner of Woodbridge Street and something, but there you go. <laughs> Used for one shot in the film. Hang on, I'll cross the road because I'm pretty sure this is where they had the camera set up on this side of the road. There you go. <laughs> Elm Street Tragic 101. Go to a street that was used for one fucking shot for a couple of seconds. This place is massive. I'm like looking for soundtrack vinyls, especially like Elm Street vinyls. God damn, this place is massive. So that was an awesome store. I wanted that full Elm Street vinyl box set, but is like 250 US dollars. Just can't justify that. So anyway, walking up to Hollywood Boulevard, gonna go along there because I just love going along there, just for the hell of it. Hands down, the award for the dodgiest looking guy ever goes to Jacob. All right guys, I am at LA Custom Design. I'm joined by Fernando, Luz, Jose, and Tony. 
These guys do some incredible work. I have known Fernando, also known as El Fet, for a couple of years now. Uh, we've been in contact. We actually met up last year here in LA. So uh, today's uh, agenda is to help uh, with the cape for my regular suit, Superman. These guys are the ones to do it because I'm not really uh, fond of a sewing machine or sewing needles. I'm not very good at it. My jam is molding and casting, but these guys actually do it as well. So. Guys, what do you usually specialize in? What's your main bread and butter here? So, LA Custom Designer is a company that does it all. I mean, really, it started with Jose doing jobs yeah. for uh, Disneyland and some of the other uh, theme park. Dreamworks. Uh, Dreamworks, yeah. entertainment companies in town. Uh, a lot of the shops over here, they specialize in doing stuff, either for the theme parks or for local shows. So when I met Jose and we started talking about making movie quality costumes that could be affordable even though we're not the cheapest we're aiming for studio quality at the cheapest possible price so essentially something that stepped off the sound stage yeah and a lot more durable <laughs> durable make sure that it's quality work that's where Luz and you know her team they they really go in and make sure that everything like you saw with what we were talking about with your superman suit make sure that it's gonna <laughs> endure at least you know a few wears that it's going to look the part mm -hmm. that it's not going to fall apart and uh, we really aim more than anything to have the person that's in one of our costumes look like the actual you know like the character so that's mainly the 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 bread and butter of LA custom design at this time is making quality costumes and they can be from any character any world we're, we're known for Deadpool but we can do it all of course and I think Disney is a high standard to have and oh my God, it's, yeah. it's, oh, yeah. it's good to be versatile whether it's 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 textiles molding casting 3d printing yes. yeah, the, the more bases you can cover you can essentially smash out a whole costume yourself without having to go to a third party stuff like that so and that's what brings us to today's agenda is um, I'd love your artistic touch on this suit and I'd love something different that involves uh, some gold urethane uh, clasps. Mm -hmm. Something that's very reminiscent of the CW series mm -hmm. but also just something a little bit different like the Nicolas Cage and the old school classic suit. So um, I'm going to put this on, I'm going to get measured up, uh, the guys are going to have a look at the, the cape that I have here that I actually started to make in Australia but brought over here so these guys can put their magic touch on it. So with that being said, I'm going to get naked put this suit on.
All right, guys, here's a scoop. I love Philip Solo, good YouTuber. So, it is Friday. Uh, I last filmed this vlog at Fernando Studio on Sunday. So there has been a massive gap. A few things have happened. Firstly, I have wrapped filming on my small part in the Outlaw Johnny Black with Michael Jai White. We filmed out at Sable Ranch, out at Santa Clarita. I'm gonna be doing a whole video on that experience. I'm still on a high from it. The only downside for the last three or four days, I've been battling food poisoning. So I went out Monday evening uh, to a nice Chinese restaurant near Hollywood. Don't know what I ate, what I drank for that matter. 2 a.m. that mor the following morning, my gut hurt, man. Like I've never experienced pain like that before. Um, and over the course of the next couple of days, on the Tuesday was when I was at my worst. I could barely stand up. Had the uh, the body aches, the, the fever. Um, sorry to put it this way, but the toilet was my best friend. Um, I've dropped about five kilos and I guess walking isn't doing anything to help that, but I need to move because I've hardly been moving. So that was on the Tuesday. Wednesday was my first day of filming The Outlaw Johnny Black. And by then all the symptoms had subsided it was like a 24 hour thing, but some stuff still lingers. And just this feeling of just feeling horrible and ill. And it sucks, it ruins your mood because you wanna give it your all with this amazing opportunity. And then something like that happens. So it's, it's nothing you can do, it's nothing, nothing, sorry, nothing you can do about it. You have no control over it. Can't go to the doctors and get a fix for it. You just gotta smash the waters, smash the, the, the hydrolyte, electrolyte stuff graham crackers, applesauce, rice, which I've been doing. So I'm trying to slowly get back to eating normally again, get my strength back. So when I get back home to Sydney, I'm gonna try and put some weight back on because I just feel weak and just tiny. I don't like it and it's just, I wanna feel healthy again. So today's Friday. Um, I was supposed to pick up my Superman suit from Fernando and the crew. Uh, a couple of days ago, but obviously busy filming and also being sick, so I'm probably going to pick it up tomorrow. So I will show you guys the end result, the amazing work these amazingly talented people have done on the Superman cape. So Max is going for a walk to Whole Foods now to stock up on some wholesomely good foods to get back in my body, get some nutrients back in my body that isn't graham crackers and rice. Oh, <laughs> cut to a week and a half later. Home back in Sydney, so that was a massive time jump. Um, I still need to do a just dedicated video to my experience uh, filming the outlaw Johnny Black with the amazing Michael Jai White. It was just crazy. But I just wanted to wrap this video up with the end result, with what we got here so far. So there will be also a whole dedicated video on the breakdown of this suit and a demo as well. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around properly and just show you guys all the details and just what I did uh, to finally fix the cape in place with the help of the amazing people that is Fernando, Luce, Tony and Jose. So here is Luce's amazing work. She hemmed everything. She even sewed the pleats in just absolutely brilliantly. I can't thank that crew enough. They just they're just, they're, they're like a family, just absolutely beautiful, beautiful souls. So if you guys are wondering what the hell these are, these uh, were originally luggage straps from Bunnings. You know, you put these on your shoulder, the strap goes through. They were 75 cents each, absolute bargain. So um, I got a couple, cut them in half, mounted them. I then made a mold of them with pinky seal, just a flat block mold. Um, and did a test. We did a test of the blue one and the gold one and the gold actually definitely won because the blue was just too much of a light blue. Case in point, here is the blue one and yeah, it just would not look right. So the gold was a winner, um, pigmented and cast in a F150 urethane from Barnes. So it holds its shape but is still flexible. And so what happens is the cape threads in and Velcro's right under here. So I just wanted something a little different, also reminiscent of the CW series. So I am beyond stoked with how this suit is looking, geeks and geekettes. So uh, still tinkering with the idea of having, um, what do you call it, like the loops? 
that are going to be in this fabric because Ryan who made this amazing suit, Ryan Jenkins, gave me some spare uh, trunks fabric. So I might actually utilize that and do the belt loops. So that's still to be tinkered with. So thanks very much for watching guys. I know this video was very random and sporadic because we've jumped obviously from LA to back home here in Sydney, but just wanted to keep you guys in the loop with what's happening with my adventures, whether it be in front or behind the camera. Also a massive thank you to World of Warships for sponsoring this video. You guys are phenomenal. And yes, I will have a dedicated video on my experiences filming the outlaw Johnny Black for two days as the barkeep, as well as a dedicated video to the breakdown of this suit and the amazing artists that helped pull it together and a final wearing demonstration. Guys, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves a cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy. Be merry, be silly, and until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.